Recently, several viewers wrote us asking whether the Medical Center in Evanston Health is eliminating all free parking for visitors and patients. One woman even posted a picture of a sign from a doctor's office that said Navison Health would no longer validate parking tickets. To verify whether that's true, we reached out to Navison Health and their spokesperson, Megan Allen, talked to customers there and visited a doctor's office. Pepper Baker verifies whether it's true that parking at Navison will cost you more. David Watkins frequently visits his sister, who's a patient at Navison Health and says he pays for parking every time. A lot of people just can't afford to park, so what do they do? Some of our viewers had similar concerns when a rumor surfaced that Navicent would no longer validate parking. The story spread on social media and one office even posted a sign warning customers that they couldn't validate parking anymore due to the policy change. But Navicent Health spokesperson Megan Allen verified that's false. She said their policies have not changed. Navison doctor's offices and the security offices can still validate parking, but if you don't have a validated ticket, then you will have to pay a fee depending on how long you stay. Now, if you look just behind me, there is a sign that says in order to exit, you do need a validated ticket. And if you don't have a validated ticket, you do need your credit or debit card ready to pay the attendant or the machine once you do actually exit the parking garage. Now, those signs are posted at every entrance to every parking garage here at Navison Health. The first 30 minutes is free, and after that, it starts at $2 and increases up to $5 for a 24-hour visit. However, if you choose valet, it will be $6. But Watkins says all hospital parking should be free. Normally, you know, like hospitals in Columbus, Georgia, you know, all parking's free. So I would just assume that it would have been free. Now, Megan Allen could not tell us who gets validated parking and who doesn't. She says that's handled on a case-by-case -case basis. She sent us a statement that says in part, they've always tried to maintain a balanced approach through parking rates that are reasonable and affordable and based on other rates in Macon and around the region. She wrote that they also try to address the needs of individual patients and their families. So while Navicent wouldn't provide details on their validation policy, we verified that free parking with a validated ticket has not gone away. In Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. And Megan Allen says if you have any further questions about ticket validations to contact their security office at 478-633-1491. Again, that's 478-633-1491.